Hello and welcome to this video demonstration where I will show you how to configure a Brothers RTU 32 running the IEC 61850 server utilizing Goose Messages. First I will start by opening the Stratum workbench, then add a new project, choose the destination folder and give the project a name. Select the language for the programming, then the IP address of the RTU. Next thing to do is to add the driver, and this is done in the field bus configurator. I'll insert configuration, select the driver. In order to utilize the goose messages, I need to know the MAC address of the LAN adapter running on the I on the RTU. So I'll just go into the web page, copy the MAC address, paste it in here. So what I'll do now is just to add a small ICD file, so I can use this for the test project. First I'll just add the mandatory types, then I'll add a GTIO. So I'll just use the indication, like this. Now I'll add logical node. GGIO. Now I'll add a data set which I'm going to use in the report. Indication. Now add Goose control block and it will be using data set 1. Save it, go to the field bus configurator and read the SL file. So I'll just insert the ICD file Bend. like this ok so what I'm going to do now is to add a variable which I'll bind to my digital input the first digital input so I can test my server Compile, then download it to the RTU. So we'll just test. So now I'll turn on the DDS inputs, it's working. Okay. Next thing to do is to make another project while I'll test the goose messages. So I'll just open Stratum, add a new project, then again select the destination folder and give the project a name. <laughs> the IP address again open the field bus configurator into configuration then find the MAC address of the LAN adapter on the second RTU copy and I'll also add a small ICD for this one I'll just use the mandatory ones. So add logical device like this. So now I'll read this configuration. Insert, find the correct folder. Then go to the Goose tab and read the seal from from the other project we just made. And then I'll select. So, what I'm going to do now is to just make a test variable and it's a digital output. So I can see that it is receiving the goose messages from the other server, like this. Save, compile, and download. So now I'll turn on the digital input on the first RTU, and we should see this. See, immediately we'll see the changes from the other server. 
So now I've shown you how to set up the uh, RGU32 running the IC61850 server utilizing Goose messages. Thank you. This was all for now. Goodbye.